Yes, all the burned out buildings and destruction everywhere. So, you know what, we'll go talk to the camp. You know, even though I said, hey, I can take care of myself, blah, blah, blah. And we might as well go down to this camp that is restricted. I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. If you want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. You always gotta love that. It, as though anybody cares who this guy is, what company he comes from, where he's at. It's just, hey man, oh, <laughs> I wonder if he greets everybody like that, you know? Where are you from? I'm from Hub originally, but it's been a long time since I saw it. I'm on my second tour here. Most non-commissioned officers are. Ooh, that just tells you. If you're a commissioned officer, hey, you won't end up in a cesspool like this. But if you're not, you'll be stuck out here. Right? That sounds pretty much like, well, most of the military. But the HUD. The HUD. If anybody remembers the HUD. I remember it from the first game. Sir. If I remember it at all, the HUB was a Brahmin pit for the most part, if I remember correctly. It was in the first one. You could go there and you could get jobs and stuff like that. Let's see, what else? What is in here? You can get in the sleeping roll. Uh, you could get jobs from there, and it normally involved watching Brahmin from town to town. I think that's what it was. And then you'd run into... You'd have... Sometimes you'd have random encounters that were really, really, really bad for you. Which, you know, no surprise. You know what? We'll, we'll sleep until the morning. But you'd have random encounters which would destroy you easily. And, and you had to figure out a way... Either you saved beforehand, or you figured out a way to cheese your way out of those situations. At least in these games, I'll grant all of these games, unlike the isometric games of the past, you can always find a way out of it without necessarily having to reload. Sometimes you do. Sometimes, you know, if you didn't pack, you, you weren't ready at all, you'd have an issue. But, you know, the rest of it's not too bad. Let's say boo, 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 boo. Oh, you gotta fix it, 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 fix it. You know, I wonder, I wonder if they'll actually say anything to us as we are disguised as a member of the NCR. I wonder if they'll say anything. I don't think they will. Oh, if I could go fast! Come on, come on. See, this is the this is the worst part is when you don't have a merchant around and you want to hold on to all this junk. Let's see, we don't look that bad. We're pretty good. All this junk. I don't think they'll say anything. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? Uh, it was to stand here and mock you, but I suppose it's to talk to you. What are you doing here? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. You gotta love these people. Yeah, and you'll see this a lot with the NCR in this game. You wonder who's in charge, who makes up all the rules, who's doing any of this, because naturally you'd want fortified locations. None of the locations are fortified or manned even then, because fundamentally, if you're fighting a superior number force like these guys are, you want choke points and you want positions of power that would allow you to have leverage in any situation that you end up coming in. But, you know, <laughs> asking too much. Asking far too much. So what's the problem with your mission? The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. Guns and firepower. You don't need guns and firepower. What you need is tactics, smart tactics. I mean, all they're doing is running around with knives and tire irons. And then they have a single shot shotguns. Now, if you saw the guy outside, I think he... You know, we'll take a look at what these guys have. But for the most part, they have automatic weapons. So they fundamentally will defeat most forces out here with relative ease. So tell me about the correctional facility. Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. Killed the guards that weren't able to escape. And have been ransacking the area since then. Yes, and they've become a nuisance that we cannot deal with, obviously. So, do you have information on the convicts? Not much. 
They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers, mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got organized faster than I would have thought, most of them at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seem to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. I like how they, they masquerade all this crap as, well, you know, they don't have support, so it shouldn't be that bad. And I mean, I, I get it from the perspective that if we were powder gangers, like if we helped Joe over there take over Good Springs and conquer that, that it would be a different situation when we come over here. And I think that's the only reason why he talks about that. Otherwise, it's just, it's silly. Uh, I had some other questions. I have some free time. Ask away. Yeah, like you're doing anything. All right, well, never mind. He doesn't have anything else we could ask. Goodbye. Sir. Yeah. So, all right. So she's got a 9mm pistol. He's got nothing. And the guy out here, he did have... the fuck? What are you doing? A monkey? It's like just running around out here. Like it owns the place. Well, we solved that problem, didn't we? Let's see, he's walking around. He's walking around with a... Oh, oh, he's walking around with a varmint rifle. Never mind, these guys don't have jack, do they? They really don't have jack. Alright, let's see. What can I just drop off? And I'm just going to drop off clothing. Even though clothing makes you the most money in any of these situations. Uh, yeah, I might as well just drop that off. Alright. Alright, let's walk over and let's get some stuff done, shall we? Okay, I'm dressed as a member of the NCR. So if you if we were aggressive with them, it would be a different story. They wouldn't be aggressive with us. We won't go quietly. Legion can count on that. Yeah. So, and unlike what you saw with the powder gangers, these are the military grade mines. So these are easier to pick up. And these are less impactful than those. Uh, oh, jeez. I'm going to be over cumbers. Let's see if I can do this. Come on. Come on. There we go. Whew. I'm going to take and cut this when I'm there eventually. All right, so I've decided instead of just sitting here kicking it around, I'm going to just drop stuff. There we go, I'm just drop that. Make everything a little bit faster. only walked a few paces because it's like, eh, you know. What can you do? And we have the powder gangers. Now, I could understand some fear, but as you can tell, my defenses are superior, so... This isn't as dangerous as they make it out to be. Like, oh, they're, they're so it's overwhelming force. Seems like they've got the same weapons we do. And all you have to use is one of those. Granted, no dynamite was used, so... I don't know why anybody would be worried about dynamite when you can just take them out with bullets. Granted, if you're in a fortified position... Well, hide sandbags or anything like that. Yeah, it'd be an issue. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Yeah, you're a bit late there. I mean, before I was even to get to you, I had to talk to two other people. So why? <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. And we can also play caravan with this man. It's very good. Uh, who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth, with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Yeah, so we can talk to him about our job, but let's ask him for what he's selling. Sure, have a look. I really don't want to have a look, but I will. Let's see, what do you have, old man? We're going to take more of this, because why not? And sell all this dynamite, sell this fragmentation grenades... Uh, what else do I want to sell? Yeah, powder charges, which are just mines. Tin cans with, with, with... Like I said, it's very bright. Very bright of them to do what they did. I give them kudos for that. I do like the fact that they do add... Well, that Obsidian added the... The non-mine looking... Or non-military grade mine, or refined type of mind 
instead of a yes I know I'm no longer dressed as the NCR it'll anger everyone oh and something else to note if you actually talk to the quarrymen some more they can tell you about how the exchange rates are bub kiss for when you've got uh, let's see I want that I do want that for any of the paper money that you would have which is a nice commentary on how it used to be when you're talking about gold v dollars granted dollars still oh it still takes more dollars than it does gold to buy gold thanks I guess we'll ask him about our uh, courier well I don't got any work right now sorry to say yeah, I'm not looking for that. I lost a package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Yeah, this job. Oh, you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. Well, I'm surprised. How was it strange? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. Pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. That's hilarious that they talk so bad. See, I don't understand why he would be so mad about it. <laughs> but uh, we'll say he canceled. Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure, as like a rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, but courier six carried the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave'd sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Yes, indeed. So, that is a good man that we'll run into later on in this series. Do you know who he is? Where he went? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Not for me to say. Yeah, he's a good man. Oh, everybody loves the guy. I especially like him. Uh, so, some men stole the package, a man in a checkered suit, and some thugs. Did they pass by this way? Well, now that you mention it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Of course. So, one of those men shot me. I know the best one. Oh, and you know the best way to get to them. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. Yep, so we gotta go save Beagle. Goodbye. Don't go getting yourself shot. I already have. I've been shot multiple times. I will end up talking to Slim here in a moment. Examine this case. So the submachine gun. This is a legendary or special submachine gun that you can pick up, and it has been stolen. So let's talk to Slim and his cowboy. Look at them cowboy boots. That's the kind of robot you need. Some cowboy boots like that. All right, Howdy, buddy. Partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vans Casino and Museum. Uh, did you know the gun is missing? Just mosey on over to the display case, and you'll see it plain as day. Might have faced that gun. Mint condition. Never fired. Which is ironic, considering it's supposed to be from Bonnie and Clyde. Scan your data registry. You've been hacked. Well, look at that. I happened across this data file locked away in an isolated subsystem. Oh, it's Vicky and Vance. I'm sorry. It's Vicky and Vance. Yes, Vicky and Vance. Never fired. Okay. Goodbye. Happy 
trails. And button. that's why you take and pick up all this stuff. Because now we can, we actually have a log. At least I do think we have a log, do we not? Yeah, there we are. And then we can sit here and go through this, and we can figure out how to get to where that is. Where we, where we fundamentally, where we want to pick up that legendary 9mm weapon. Is the actual, yeah, see, and it's the actual weapon. So, wait, before he was gunned down, right? Never fired. Never fired, and luckily untouched by the hail of bullets that in, <laughs> ended their notorious life. Oh, uh, yeah. Vance and Vicky. Vicky Vance. Howdy. Supposed to be Bonnie and Clyde. Hey, wasn't that who it really was, Bonnie and Clyde, and they gunned those two down, if I remember correctly? I do believe it was, and that's a rip on them. And there's a guy up there we should cap. Let's go deal with him. Hey, buddy. I don't like what you've been spewing up there. If I had a rifle, I'd be able to knock him down, probably, but... Since I'm in the nude, I should probably put some clothes on. That would be good. Thankfully, nobody notices. Let's see. Get this varmint rifle out. Let's see if I can knock him in the head. Nope. Nope. I'm getting nothing. There we go. <laughs> Eventually got that sneak attack, which is nice. Oh, awesome. Here we are. Awesome possum. Alright, we gotta up this. Up that to 35. Lock picking can be 5. Let's see, medicine up that to 40. And we'll then go through repair, get up to 45, science 55, speech. We got to eventually get speech all the way uh, really high because eventually we want something else. And I'll put in stuff for that. We'll do, what is it? Educated. This every time you advance on to this level. This perks. Yeah, I'll take educated. Educated is very useful. Lady Killer is good, too, to pick up for dialogue options, but I'm going to take educated so we can get more stuff done. Overall, we'll get more done with it, so. Not to worry. And let's see, actually, I'm going to go to the, the Mojave Express, which is hilarious that they were able to make the Mojave Express. And say, hey, here's the Mojave Express. They were to put up a sign, you know, that tells you that they're able to make stuff, or at least pick stuff up and put it together. Uh, try to fix it. Oh, he needs that, doesn't he? Let's see, my science. I think you just have to have... Yeah, you only have to have 55 science. What is my science right now? Let's see, science. Yeah, I just need five more in science, and I'll be able to bring ED back. Uh, let's see. Actually, let's see. Examine. It's primary electronics, fully functional. Repair it with parts. So it requires three pieces of scrap metal, two sensor modules, and scrap electronics. Okay. Well, whichever we come across first. So. There's two scrap. We may actually have it all here. And here's the other Mojave Express drop-off. See, is there anything else? I'll take all that. You want to take everything in here because the guy isn't even going to be in here. And when he does come in here, he won't be able to do anything because all the stuff's already going to be gone. Yeah, so we got three. I think we've got three scrap metal now. We just need uh, the other stuff. Let's see. Do, 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 do. I really wish there was a search button where you could just search your inventory and be like, search. But it necessarily, it's all alphabetical order. And I have a sensor module. I have the scrap metal. I need to need electrical scrap. Let's see. Actually, let's see. Do Let's repair with parts. So three pieces of scrap, two sensor modules, and scrap electronics. Okay. So we'll see what we get first. I do like picking up ED. ED is... A good companion. It's got a built-in laser gun, and you get to upgrade it later on. So it's very nice with that. But ED, my love, is one of the better, one of the better ones to pick up. And unlike Fallout 4, it's not a dog. Which nothing against 
The dog that we eventually almost meet in every single game. Oh, Jinx. Oh, I hate... You know, I'm just thinking about Jinx and just... Oh. Oh, I remember picking that dog up. That was awful. That was the worst decision you could ever make. Because everybody... I mean, unless you were going to just, like, run away from people, that thing would cause all kinds of people to miss critical all the time, and it was just a nightmare. It was a nightmare. And this is, I believe this is Deputy Beagle's place. So you don't have to worry too much. That's yeah, Beagle's, yep, it's his residence. And if we go in here to see the sheriff, we'll see the sheriff and see what happened. See, where, where's the sheriff during these times? Where would he be? Oh, you hear that splattering noise? It doesn't sound like it's a good thing. It sounds like somebody just got murdered. He got 308 rounds, I don't know why. There's scrap metal again, if we can find a sensor module. The module will be fantastic. Always pick up a pack of cigarettes, everyone likes cigarettes. See, I can break down stuff, turn scrap metal into lead. Ah, good times. Let's see here. Do 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 do. Get a lunchbox, carton of cigarettes. I don't need a lunchbox. So here's the sheriff and his wife, been capped. So with them capped, hey, can't do anything now with them. So I guess we'll be finding a new sheriff. Go we'll find the deputy bagel, and he's in the bison, Steve. Stevie bison. I actually like the aesthetic of a bison. Just a huge bison out there. I think they actually have activity up there where that smoke's at. But I am unsure. Which would be hilarious if there is, because then that would just render the mining of that one area to be rather minute and useless. Let's see here. Oh, oh, oh. You see what this does? This thing is terrible, but... Oh, okay, I'm all out of bullets for it. All right, fine, fine. I'll get serious. You notice that? It just punches right through that armor. Got nothing. All right, come on, come on. Punch through, punch through. There we go. Yeah, it's obliteration. Into vapors you go. Too bad they don't do it like how you normally see vaporization, which for them would be just a ton of steam going up into the air. That would be cool. But, again, we all like to see that energizing, and then poof. As well. Ah, I don't want that. Come on, yep. Let's get the let's get the science out. Sketchy. Nope. There we go, pattern. Who knew? I could find a pattern without finding a pattern. Disengage the lock. Yeah, this is for the building. This is for the door. And then there's a safe over here. So if you have the... Let's see. I'll take all that stuff. Take this. Yeah, it's average. You need a lockpick of 50 for it. Ah, uh, come on. Come on, man. What is my... What is my... Uh, lockpicking? Oh, 45, of course. Well, I can't remember it all. And I know I'm going to forget about that save, so... I'm sure it doesn't have too much of a good time in it. But let's go over here. Normally you can't get up this unless you have repair. And you repair the elevator. And you can go up. Now granted, you don't have to repair the elevator. You can go on the sides by unlocking the doors. But you can get an easier time with these guys if you take and start up the elevator. Plus it's a good way of using your skills. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh, and something I really hated about these, I don't know why they couldn't just give us a flashlight or get an upgrade where we can have a flashlight come off this thing. Because I would rather have a flashlight in 99% of these situations. Because all this does is give you a roundabout 
light instead of a directed pointed light so I could see. Instead of just having, well, you can see the surroundings of yourself, but uh, the rest of it, no. And you can't tell me all the flashlights, all the pre-war flashlights just disappeared. Just somebody uh, devoured all of them or is hiding them in their locker somewhere. Somewhere out in the Mojave or out there. And, and what, what's hilarious is you actually have like a light in Fallout 4. You actually get a light off the helmet. That is unlike the light off your pit boy, which I think is great. And I wonder if that was a part of I wonder if Obsidian had that kind of idea beforehand and somebody Hello there. It's good to see a friendly <laughs> face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Okay. <laughs> Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and ah, oh, screw this. Line just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. You have to admit, this is pretty hilarious. I'm shooting the shit out of this guy, this, and this man, Malcolm Holmes, just comes up. Hey, man, you want to talk about them silver, that blue star on that cap? Why were you following me? It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. Yeah, what's so special about these caps? There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Who knew? Where can I find more of these caps? All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now. But somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and Blue Star caps are no exception. And they're nice, too. And you mentioned someone named Festus. Who's that? It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the Blue Star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old, but I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him, and they weren't the lying type either. Yeah, I, I would say I met a pre-war ghost too, just to sit here and, you know, do shits and giggles. Why not? <laughs> Why not? So you collect these caps too, question mark? Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. Yeah, who would know that? What kind of treasure are we talking about? No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value. And that's enough to get people motivated. Thanks for the info, but I'll be going now. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars... Watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. Don't worry. I would never do that. Never. Never would I do that to anyone. Who would ever do that to someone? Who would just murder for... Oh my god. Get out of here. No, I've not had enough. Oh, don't you, don't you heal. Don't you even think about healing. I hate when they do that. It's like, oh, let me heal. It's like, no, you don't get to heal. Oh, and look, he's got six bottle caps. Hmm. The guy who says he didn't collect them anymore. Oh, I've got six of them in my pocket. Hmm, yes. And then, you know, the entire, the tried and true line of, no, I don't. I really wish they just stuck with what a real person would say, which is, no, I don't. And then the player would just be like, okay. And then they would end up killing him anyway because, hey, we want to know. And you could just take him as, yeah, he lied. Of course he did. I wonder how this soda... I, I just wonder how that Sunset Sarsaparilla tastes. You know? I love the fact that I drank all that and it's doing nothing for my health. Nothing. Not a darn thing. And do I have, like, one of the wor one of the worst HPs? Come on. Hey, a sensor module. Got two of them now. 
See if we can find some computer junk. I hope to find it. Because then we can just repair ED. I don't have to level up again and put money into things I don't want to. As a ransom note. As this. Oops. Uh, ransom note. Mr. Peterson. If you want to see your wife alive again, bring cash and small Ardenbark bills to the Bison Seas on Tuesday. Oh, wait, you know what? I wonder... Hmm. I wonder if he'll have the key to the safe. There might be a key to the safe around here, actually. Oh, you know what? And he has probably unmarked bills, right? Somewhere in here. You'd imagine. You'd imagine it would be in here still. Because it's how these games run. They always put stuff out and be like, Hey, how you doing? Don't put too much logic to any of this universe. Because it doesn't make any sense. Let's see, come on. There we are. Let's see, in the suitcase, turpentine, two things, jet. And of course, I want jet. There's some psycho. Some psycho's good for you. Psycho's good for the heart. Cleans the soul and the palate. Oh, man. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We want all that Medex and Psycho, all that stuff. Want to keep it up? Keep it pumping into your veins. Oh, I really wish they gave you armor that would just automatically drip that in. I know the Fallout 3 had it, where it had the automatic, um... Oh, it would... Ow. Being shot at. I'm being shot at. Oh, okay. Hey, bub. So it, it would have a uniform that would... Or it had a... Oh, gee, thanks. It had a power armor that would automatically apply Medex if you had Medex on you. That was nice. But I would love to have something that would give you, like, a psycho drip. It's a small psycho drip. And you had to go through a bunch of stuff to get it, but it would be awesome to get. Because everybody likes getting getting that extra. A little bit extra. Let's see, what else is there? I could take those individual cigarettes and waste my time like that. Or I can continue looking around. Hey, look, there's more powder gangers on my radar. Hmm. Oh, was he... Were you sleeping? I guess these aren't even... They're not called powder gangers. They're just... Escape convicts. Just straight up murder them. This tells you something, though. Why would you keep a hold of NCR money? Why wouldn't you exchange it? Because fundamentally, I mean, why would you want to keep any of that? I understand you're only going to get a at least half. I think you get half and I'm good today. On a good day, you get half, and on a bad day, you get a quarter of what it's worth. But it's still better than having NCR money to tell everybody, yeah, I'm from the NCR. Come on now. Come on, man. So that was it. Just a man up here. Oh, wait. Let's see, what's over here in this bathroom? Yeah, see, there's a bunch of this garbage. Just a bunch of garbage. Nothing good. It should have a stem pack in it, I hope. Oh, I remember how bad this used to be. It And, you know, for me, it's in my mind to always remember to buy stem packs because it was always hard to get a hold of stem packs. And when you were able to buy stem packs on a usual basis with any of the vendors that you had in Fallout 1 or 2, that was amazing. Because that meant you were rolling in enough money to just sit here and enjoy it. And you didn't have to suffer like what we do. But it became, like the like the stem packs became trivialized in this. This and the third one, when the first and second game, even in Tactics. I think, you know, Tactics did trivialize it a little bit more as well, but Tactics at least still had a squad. They had, they had other things that went with it. You know, you'd expect the Brotherhood of Steel to be able to manufacture some of that stuff, but you still had to pick it up and buy it and trade for it and things like that. Wasn't, uh, wasn't like this where, hey, I got 50 of them, but I have 50 of them and I don't have to use healing powder or any of the other stuff. Alright, i got to actually crank out something better than what we've got, because I have no ammunition for what we've got. 
Let's see, I don't need a lead pipe. There's Beagle. I haven't killed these guys. I want to watch it because they I think they can kill Beagle. So you like that? maybe. What is he doing? Doesn't he normally have like a bazooka or something? It's something ridiculous, I know that. Maybe it's the fact that I'm so low level, he's like, nah man, I'm not even gonna break that. I'm gonna beat him with a tire iron. Oh, I'd hate to actually hit people with a tire iron because that stuff would you know, you'd think it you may hurt somebody else, but it hurts your hands as well. You hit anything with those tire irons. Come on. Boom headshot. Oh, I didn't even get a headshot, but... There we go, there's a headshot. Cleaned him out. You yeah, see, he's had a flamethrower. Like, why, why wasn't he using an incinerator, I wonder? Just say, no, I can't do it with Deputy Beagle there. That guy's just dead. All right. Uh, tire irons of justice. Those varmint rifles fixed up. Let's see, what else have I got? And the incinerator is actually something nice to pick up. Let's see. Is this like, this is just like Fallout 3, right? Yep. And I think this goes with demolitions, is what this goes with. It goes with it in demolitions, so... Oh, jeez, he's got 217. Oh, let's get some buff out. This should, this should actually solve our problems. Buff out. Oh, buff out. Where art thou? Buff out. Oh, there's blood pangers. Buff out. Boom. We're good. We are good. Until I have to deal with more of it. And then it's like, whoops. See anything good in here? Yes, we got stem pack and steady. Oh, I don't need any of that. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Oh, that's gotta be a terrible feeling. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Oh, I heard you might have information about some cugs that came through here. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. You can tell me now, or you can rot in here. Well, you look to be a trustworthy sort. Okay, I'll tell you what I know. I overheard them saying that they're on their way to Novak. If you want to follow them, I strongly suggest that you follow the road through Nipton. There are a lot of dangerous things out in the desert. You won't have me with you to protect you, as I need to stay here and keep Prim safe. And you can leave him. It would be so very delightful if you set me free. And I will. Why not? I'll set you free. Oh, that's just marvelous. <laughs> I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is close in here. And I'm going to tell him to stay with us because you get more points for this. Oh, why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help, but without it. You lead the way. Yes, come on. And what we need to do is go and take over what's left. Oh, hey, what are you doing? You notice as soon as I set him on fire, he's like, oh, I'm going to fight to the death now. You wuss. Yo, wuss. Yo, wuss, hey, wuss, wuss. No backbone. No backbone for this. You know what? I think we can buy... I think we can buy the last bit for Edie out the way. Let's see here. Come on, Deputy Beagle. We're leaving. There he is. Well, that was quite an... Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course. But it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Oh, jeez. What are you talking about? You're the sheriff now. Oh, no. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. Yeah. It's called bureaucracy, and I really don't want the responsibilities. What are the qualifications for a sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. 
I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. Yeah, why haven't they done anything? I'll tell you, they don't care. <laughs> it's like, uh, with anything with the NCR in this game, you'll know if you sit here, play through it, and you talk to people and you learn, the more you learn about how the NCR is ill-equipped, ill-able, ill-willing to do anything for these people. and it's Or anybody for the Mojave or anyone for themselves, even their own soldiers, and it's it's terrible. I'll help bring Law and Order back to Prim. You will. That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. You also have a third option. Actually, yeah, I think there is just a third option in that. I, there might be a fourth option. And I don't know if you if you were a part of the Powder Gangers, if you could just come over and conquer this whole area, just like you did with, with it before. I just don't remember. I do not remember. Let's see. Come on. Go talk to our good friend here. Hey, youngster. Still. Yes, I'm hanging around. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to sell. Sure. Yeah, sure. Have a look. Energy cells, let's see, and your miscellaneous, what do you got? Do you have, yeah, there's a scrap electronics, yeah, there we go. We'll bring back ED, come on now. Oh, don't tell me this man has nothing. You have nothing on you, old man? Come on. This is always the issue, is when you start selling stuff to people and it's like, oh, they've got nothing. They won't have anything to sell. Anything to sell you in particular. It's like, ugh. I might as well take that. Whoops. I don't mean to do that. He's got, you know what? Nah, forget it. Forget it all the time. Wait, oh, I do want that scrap, though. I do want that electrical scrap. Yeah, I want that electrical scrap. Thanks. Oh, you know what? I could take this as well. Is this for the pistol? Yes, it is. That's what you want. I, I really want that stuff. And I would get that bulk, but it's just not worth it. It's not worth it if I can't uh, I can't come back from it and say, Hey, yeah, I, I really don't want to use that up. The reason you don't want to use it up is because you have nothing to repair it with, and that's the issue. It's always the issue. Uh, let's see. something ridiculous oh I don't want that you know what just give me this there we go give him a little bit of money yeah so if you wanted to you can get the robot out here and he will he will be the next big guy on the block Come here, old man. Old man, come here. Come here. Don't you run away from me. There you go. Hey, youngster. Yes. You terrible traitor. Come on. Uh, just let me get rid of just a few more items. That I want to get rid of. Boom. That to get rid of. Boom. Get rid of that. All right. Pleasure doing business with you. Uh-huh. And again, you play caravan, but... Don't ever got time for that. Not me, I don't have time for that. Oh, and we want to save Edie over here from the scrapyard. I'm not even going to ask for permission. I'm just going to save Edie. Let's see, repair it with parts. I have it. Repair with parts. We have just enough understanding to save Edie. Oh, God, it's in the ceiling. Companion protocol begin. Yes, you're going to be my best friend. 
Let me access your multi-tools to make what I make something. Yes. And he can convert stuff, so. Which is nice. I'm gonna uh, recycle that. Thanks, buddy. Like I said, Edie is one of the best companions you can get. It's just, oh, I love Edie. Such a good robot. It's the best iBot you can ever get. All right. I did not mean to fast travel over here. Let's get back up actually over here to Good Springs. Death to the NCR. Oh no, our buff out is gone. I do like the ability to have buff out and it's I remember it from the old days and I remember it from today. It's good stuff. It's one of the better things. I remember when you had to use buff out to beat people's heads in. That, that's what you had to do a lot of. Oh, speaking of which, do we actually buy that laser set? I may not have bought that laser set. No, oh no, oh no. I might have shot myself in the mouth. Also, something to note. In this game, and in the... FPS games of Fallout, almost all the enemy, well, actually, yeah, pretty much almost all the enemies have something you can take and sell. But when the isometric games were out, you couldn't take everything from them. You could only take so many things because the games were designed to make sure that you'd suffer at the beginning and eventually when you became powerful, you became powerful. But money was always a pain to get in fallout the original and the second one unless you were going to take the quote-unquote non uh non good route i should say the ungood route let's see do this does more no it does eight damage what does this do it's 22 damage oh let's see this plasma pistol let's see does he sell any of the mods for it do you sell the mods for this I see there's laser pistol combat sites. You can actually get that. There's optic focus for the pistol. I think you get... I think I have that, though. I think I have... Don't I have the optics for that? Yeah, I have the optical focus. So what did that make it from 8 to 9, 10, 11? To 11? You know what? And I'll, I'll buy that instead. And I will just skip on the plasma for now. Eventually, we're not even going to use the plasma. We won't... We won't Eventually, we won't have to worry about it, is what I'm saying. It won't be a plasma pistol, it'll be a plasma rifle. Maybe a plasma rifle. I do like a plasma... like a plasma rifle to an extent. Varm, varm, single shot, for single shot, or long fuse dynamite. But, uh, we have one of the pistols, so it's not a big deal. And I think we can put both those mods on there. I think they are not mutually exclusive. If they are, I would be surprised. Because I've got the optical focus. And that's what I love about this. You do get mods, and I love that. So, that is nice. Sell that. I'm just selling the books. The books are just not... Yeah, they're useful if you want to do certain things, but where you want to use them is like lockpicking and science. Those are the two that you'd have the most utility out of. Let's see. Oop. Or wait, I can just install them via my menu, can't I? It says mods. See? Mods. There we go. Let's see how it looks. Now it does... What does it do? It does 11 damage. Look at that. It's got actual combat sights on it now, which is nice. Finally got sights on it. I don't have to use the little nut anymore. Uh, and it's like... Yeah, microfusion, so you can use the SECs. And I believe you make that money. I don't know, it says small energy cells to ECP. Okay. 
I don't think I want that. I want um. Yeah, I want ECP to SEC. Yeah, and it's what is it? It's a, the electron charge pack. So you want that? You do that kind of stuff. Eventually, we want as much as possible to be reusing stuff. I don't know what I'm doing besides looking at a little bit here and there. Let's see skills. All right. Ed. <laughs> Use melee. Use melee. Be aggressive. So I'm gonna say be aggressive. Yes, beep sounds indeed. I really wish they told you how much weight they could have, like on their side, so it just tells you, hey, this is how much I can carry. Alright, we don't want to go down to Nipton just yet. Oh! You know what, since I actually... You know what, I'm going to go in and see if I can buy some more ammunition for this. I'm going to need more ammunition for this puppy. At least I want more ammunition for this thing. Since I'm doing lasers... You looking to buy some supplies? I might be. As long as you got ammunition. Ain't nobody going to take and hate you for having ammunition. See, he doesn't have any of that, but he's got 20 gauge 308 buck. I will take that actually. Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you. I say it's 308 buck, but it's like it's just a zero in. I think it's a solid slug. No, it's not the solid slug. I think it's a more ten tightly packed shot. Is what we've got here. So let's see. So you got a solid slug, and then you have this 308B. Or OB. I always say it's OAB. I don't know why. Because I think I'm thinking of the 308 rounds that you can get. But, again, here we are. ED. Oh, it's from Illinois. Nice. Great Midwest, indeed. Always romanticized. Always romanticized. That guy's dead. You don't care about him. Should never care about him because he's, you know, he's dead. So, what point is there in caring? And there's... I know there's convicts up here. I see the red. I see the red, and I know there's a fire up there. Normally, fires represent civilization in this game. Or any game, when you're creating any anything, really. Because, you know, you'll have the gamers be like, Hmm, what is that? Okay, never mind. We don't. We just have boat flies. I hate boat flies. I'm sitting here using these... Inexpensive rounds. Stop it. Yeah, see? That's why you have ED. Catch shit on fire. Catch shit on fire. There we go. There we go. Cleaned up that. I can't shoot. There we go. Put it in the back of its head and pulled the trigger. Boosh! Now let's go on up. I took a sip from my trusty Vault 13 canteen. I wish we could have done that in Fallout 2. It would have made things a lot easier. You shouldn't have crossed the powder gangers. Now you're going to pay. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, so you guys were up here. What the fuck? And you'll hear that western tone from Edie when it's engaged in combat. And as you can tell, Edie's very... Very useful as a companion. Just with that laser. Stop it. Lay down. And we gain karma for blasting these guys into, you know, a thousand pieces, but we'll always lose karma for stealing from them. Go figure. Go figure. Let's see. Oops. Hmm. Got ants. All right. Here I was looking for powder gangers. I was like, "Where's the ants?" Nah. Ah, there it is. I was wondering. You see these particles in the? Yeah, there's the radioactivity. Oh, it goes up to two. I say. I. And you know what? I do like the fact that they still use radiation here and there for the series. 
stop it. And these are normally FEV experiments. I don't think they ever explain if there's FEV out here. There must be FEV if you've got these creatures out here. There has to be FEV. Yeah, there's Jack Rabbit, Sp Ooh, Jack Rabbit Springs. It's a terrible place with a lot of radiation last time I checked. And they like coming around with this radiation for some reason. So let's see what's up here. Granted, this isn't so bad if you had a power suit or some other... Ooh, no. Here's the Viper Gang, or the Jackal Gang. I always call them the Viper Gang, because the Viper Gang is down the way. I don't know why they're up here, though. Like, what is up here? I mean, you figure you wouldn't want to be stuck around radiation, but I suppose if you're too stupid to know that radiation's out here, then you're like, ooh, ooh. Prospector's Den, huh? I guess we'll check that out. Huzzah. I'm sure everyone's dead. Yep, everyone is dead. Who knew? Who saw that one coming? Not I. I don't know what. There we go. I dealt with him. Another dead prospector. Dead prospector on duty. Ooh, I'm going to get the shit shot out of me, aren't I? This is not going to be a fun experience for me. It's going to be a rather painful experience. He's going to be like, don't you like getting shot in the face? Well, no, but I'm just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> Let's, oh, gosh. Let's see, didn't I, did I not just pick up, did I, okay, I was going to say, I did pick up heavy armor. I thought I did. Oh, well, there you go. Edie shot her right in the freaking dome. Just pop. Domed. She got domed. By our good man over there, popping pills and making, taking swills, right? All right, Edie, come over here. I need you to take some of my stuff. Oh, wait, you know what? I see on there that you can actually tell... It's not on this menu, but it's on the other menu. You can tell how much Edie can carry or not. Edie apparently can carry a ton of stuff. Good old Edie. Yes, I know, I'm not putting... I don't want Edie to... Okay, see, he can carry over to 210. That's, that's nice. It's very good. All right. It's very nice. 210. 210. Oh, Edie, you're so useful to me. The first companion and the best companion. Ooh, look at that. I got a spot right there. Ooh. Edie's just wiping them out, too. Foof, 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 foof. And you have to admit, if you have a prospector, I, I understand most people probably don't even know that where they're at has tremendous cancerous potential, but come on, guys. Come on. Get 20 on that. Alright, the next thing I'm going to level up is my speech. I need to at least level up to 50. That'll get all the average speech checks done. So. Let's sit here and mess with this real quick. Doot. Doot. Oh. Come on. There we go. This is why you always have that, because if you don't have that kind of stuff, you don't have the ability to open any of these, and that is not... not fun. You miss out on a lot. Ooh, uh, the dead prospector. Everybody's got these cards. Everybody's got these cards. And I think those cards you can use in... A hand of Caravan, if you wanted. Come here, Edie. I need you to back me up again. No. I was going to say, don't tell him to use melee. That's stupid. You shouldn't be using melee. You should be using ranged. I mean, if I'm able to take out 99% of these guys with what I literally have, these little bits of ammunition and stuff like that, it's like, go ahead. Oh, and I've got heavy armor. No wonder I'm over... Over and encumbered. 
It is nice to have heavy armor on certain things. But power armor will always be your best friend. I really wish they brought back the stylish armor that was here before. Because the armor we've got now is kind of just crap. Sure, it's got the upper chest and... It's got, like, it's got the upper chest, and then it covers the knees. Yeah, I could, let's see. Hold myself up here. So, it covers the chest, the shoulders, the knees, the thighs. Uh, I just, I really liked how they had the original where it was smooth. So, it was smooth metal, but it was that futuristic style that really sold you on. Damn, that's probably, like, super high-tech underneath the hood. I really wish they'd stuck with that instead of doing a, a low level of just put it just put it as uh, pieces of scrap metal soldered together and just said eh it's good and what was the purpose of even coming in here is there a purpose to this no, just... sometimes you wonder these are the things you never look into it's like did you look into the prospectors den nope we just took out all those raiders so clean this up Oh, no, no, nothing. All right, come on, Edie. Let's get out of here and make something better for civilization. Hmm. I wonder where this will all take us next.